short answer yes for sure uh, maybe to just mention it on the previous uh, point of discussion um, even though indeed I the book was already in the writing stage when um, when the last uh, step by the specialist chamber namely the indictment of President uh, Tachi happened um, I do mention that in the book um, I do also mention in the book on this specific mechanism that the jury well in this case uh, literally <laughs> still out and we we don't know how this mechanism will play out we also based by the way based on the track record and the politicization of judicial prosecutions in Kosovo up until that point with UNMIC with Erlix to a lesser extent uh, based on my research uh, with with the ICTY we can say that this process most probably will be very, very complicated. That gaining cooperation, actual cooperation from the Kosovo uh, parties will be very difficult. Making sure that the, that the victims and uh, witnesses can participate in the process without being afraid of intimidation will probably be hard to guarantee. And that there will be some mingling, uh, political mingling from different sides to steer the outcome into particular discussion and direction will probably be unavoidable. And um, on the question that you are raising, a very important question on um, you know the need uh, for for a more strategic approach. Yes, as I said um, in my book, I don't necessarily um, you know argue for any approach. Uh, I don't uh, provide a normative answer of how transitional justice should look like, which mechanism should be pursued, uh, nor uh, who should be in charge of, uh, of any of that, uh, any of those processes. Um, that said, uh, my my personal view, my personal opinion would be that yes, that it would any process that is being established under the label of transitional justice or peace building would benefit from. Uh, more strategic uh, thinking, from better coordination, from forward-looking, um, and that you know whether you're talking about prosecutions, uh, truth commissions, reparations, um, vetting, another very important element is that you actually try at early stages to consider both opportunities and risks that will ultimately be on the road of implementation. First, of, the first task is oftentimes just to you know get sufficient uh, support from relevant parties to establish a mechanism in the first place. That is has proven to be very difficult in most situations and been has been had been dependent on, uh, if not luck, but on a kind of almost a, uh, if not well, definitely not random, but on a very complicated set of uh, set of factors: uh, political will, resources, and so on and so forth. So once you agree on that, you're far from done. Once you establish the institution and let's say you, you want to have an international court, even if you have the premises, the mandate and everything, and you start the operation and uh, fill the, uh, the, the premises with the right uh, capacity, both uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, professional capacity as well as uh, technical capacity, then you're still not done because you need to take into account, and this is, I hope, where my book does offer useful insights is that you need to account, take account of the protracted nature of transitional justice uh, mechanisms and their implementation is that along um, along the road um, there will be uh, influences by a different set of actors uh, sometimes uniting around the shared concern for example parties that don't benefit from a particular truth uh, seeking mechanism because that what that mechanism may expose their uh, role in the conflict, um, or by you know uh, certain transitional justice promoters that may you know promote a certain institution which may not be taking full and and proper account of the realities on the ground. For example, you know the same prosecution which may be in certain places uh, uh, not not very suitable. So you will know. And you should know, based on the track record and empirical experience, that this will happen. Uh, and that, you know, coordination, to go back to your point, is crucial throughout. And know that this, uh, the transitional justice mechanisms will alter, will change. There will be 
malleable, as I call them in my book, uh, by virtue of, of, of the, uh, through, through the interaction and, and by virtue of being dependent on that interaction of, of a set of actors and, and certainly not only external actors.